diamniotic dichorionic twins. It means that each fetus has its own separate amniotic sac and its own placenta. Each fetus develops independently of each other. In these cases, there is a low risk of complications as compared to monochorionic twins. There is also a decreased risk of twin to twin transfusion. In the presenting case, we can see twin gestations in which fetus A shows placenta lying posteriorly and a gestation of 14 weeks is seen. We can see that sufficient amount of liquor is present around both the fetuses. Fetus B shows placenta lying interiorly and a clear separating membrane can be visualized which is separating both the fetuses. In diamniotic dichorionic twins, there is also a decreased risk of preterm labor as compared to monochorionic twins. Dichorionic diamniotic twins are easier to manage as compared to monochorionic twins. Better fetal growth and development is seen as both of the twins have different placentas. But still there are certain risks that are involved which include higher risk of gestational diabetes, risk of growth restriction if one of the twin has smaller placenta, requires, it requires regular prenatal checkups and monitoring. Preterm labor might be in, uh, induced in certain cases and placental abruption is also seen.